President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session, and uh, the chamber now hands over the floor to the international deputy court prosecutor. You may now proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. We were uh, discussing uh, documents from Tramcock District relating to purges of Law No soldiers and officials. And uh, I was finishing um, one of the Krang Tachan notebooks, E34095. Um, I'd like to refer the chamber specifically to, uh, as examples, um, uh, three uh, of the uh, prisoners who appear in that notebook. At Khmer 00271, 094, English 00 747 243, French 00 721 212. It's the record for Prum Nim, a former teacher who had worked to help elect in Tom one of the seven Law Null super traders. He had helped to elect him work in the pre-1975 period. And the notes reflect that he was accused of distributing anti-revolution leaflets that said, and I quote, after liberation, we eat porridge, cook weeds, see ourselves separated from our children, have no medicine when falling ill. I will come back later uh, and address more documents um, that relate to the arrests of people who criticized, who were arrested for criticizing the regime. The second uh, prisoner I would draw your attention to in this notebook is a former Law Null captain named Sun Set. His record appears at Khmer 00271-100, as well as a second set of notes, interrogation record at 271-103-04. English 0047-253 and 747-257-59. through 59. French 00721-223-24 through 24. and also 00721-228. Through three zero. There are two different sets of notes for this former Law Null captain. And in those notes, uh, he identified a group of 14 associates, all of whom were subsequently arrested and whose interrogation notes also appear later in this very same document. The third. President, please hold on. International Deputy Co Prosecutor, you may not proceed. Mr. Cope. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, it um, just um, dawned on me, and specifically in relation to the discussion that we had in the chamber last Friday, uh, that the notes that the prosecution um, are referring to are coming from uh, alleged prisoners in uh, Krang Tachan. Um, the closing order alleges that um, prisoners in Krang Tachan 
uh, were possibly tortured. Um, if that's true or not, uh, I will leave that uh, for another discussion. But uh, I do not see quite a difference in the prosecution now reading from these possibly tortured tainted notes and my question uh, last Friday uh, to a witness in relation to also possible, uh, possibly alleged or po possible uh, tainted torture torture danger evidence, I'm sorry, um, uh, relating to S21. Um, so although I do not object uh, to the prosecution reading from these notes from uh, the Grand Tachan records, uh, I would like um, the chamber, because it's still uh, needing to make a ruling on uh, the question from last Friday, to include in its uh, written decision uh, how we should deal with uh, reading from notes from uh, Krang Tachan records. I think basically uh, that is the same discussion. Um, and I, 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 like I said, I do not see any difference between uh, reading from these notes and asking questions to a witness, uh, possibly basing myself upon uh, S21 records. Pas de différence entre cela et se fonder, comme je l'ai fait, sur. I think this is the type of common discussion we should have later, but let me let me respond because there's a, an important difference here. Um, these records have always been used and are entirely admissible to establish the identity who, who the people were. Um, uh, who were at these prisons. Um, they have also always been used um, to show uh, the process that is involved. For example, uh, the example I just gave you, uh, where one prisoner um, uh, will provide a list of other implicate, implicated persons, those people will then be arrested. The difference between what counsel was trying to do was that he was trying to use statements obtained by torture for their truth, for the truth of the content. Uh, it is an enormous difference. It is a very important point um, that, this, that this chamber will have to consider. Uh, I certainly think um, um, it's something worth, worth having a debate, but, but not at this time. The chamber will be able to, adjud to adjudicate uh, the relevance of this evidence. We could have a discussion of this when we get to the uh, stage of this presentation where parties make comments. And, but I think at this time, um, uh, uh, the evidence is, is being used for purposes that it has been used throughout these proceedings. And it is very different to try and use S21 confessions for the uh, torture-induced uh, confessions that people were part of networks for the truth of that assertion.
The chamber gives the floor to Judge uh, to respond to the objection raised by the Defense Council for Mr. Nunchi in relation to the presentation by uh, International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. You may not proceed, Judge Lavergne. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. La mesure où l'objectif pour lequel les notes de Crankton Chan sont utilisées est d'établir l'identité de personnes qui ont été détenues dans ce centre de sécurité, la Chambre considère qu'il n'y a pas d'objection à un tel usage. La Chambre a aussi bien sûr euh, en tête la euh, question euh, concernant la plutôt en tête la décision qu'elle doit rendre concernant la question soulevée par Maître Copé vendredi dernier, et cette décision sera rendue à un stade ultérieur. President, you may now resume your presentation, International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The uh, next document uh, that I want to make uh, reference to is Crank de Chang Notebook E3-2107. E3-2107. Uh, the reference is at Khmer 0006-8055. English 00290212 and French 00655731. And at these pages, um, the records identify uh, two wives of Law Null officers who had been arrested and sent to Krangtachan. First, Niang Khun, a 43-year-old woman whose husband held the rank of second lieutenant, arrested and sent to Krangtachan for refusing to take cloth provided by Ankara. The second, Lang or, or a 27-year-old woman from Takao City whose husband was in the military police, a second lieutenant, and who Anker had arrested before she left Takao. The reasons for her detention, quote, her child was sick and swollen up and could not walk, and she had the oldest child bring rice for the sick child to eat. End of quote. Now, as this chamber uh, has seen, uh, there are a series of key documents in the April to May 1977 time period in which different communes are reporting to the district and re reiterating instructions of the party to identify and purge enemy officers or those who held ranking positions in the former regime. We have used uh, a couple of these documents with witnesses. Uh, so I'll briefly touch on those, but there are a number of others um, that we have not used that I will present, and I will present all of these together, um, documents from the various different communes to provide a complete picture of the purge of this group in Tramcock. The first commune is Tapem commune. The document is E3-2048, E3-2048, at Khmer 00079091, English 
French 00611-661. This document is a 28 April 1977 report from Tapem Chief Kit to Ankar stating that the commune had, and I quote, examine and purge the enemies who held ranks after having received the instructions of the party, end of quote. The report continues on to say that further investigation, following further investigation, another six more with officer and official ranks had been identified listing three first lieutenants and three second lieutenants. The next commune I will cover is Chiang Tong commune. The document is E32048, E32048 at Khmer 00079089, English 00276562 through 63 and French 00611659. This is a report from Chiang Tong Commune Chief Boon to Tramcock District Anka, dated the 30th of April 1977, which states, quote, after having received successive instructions from Ankar about being vigilant about the enemy and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked, examined, and found the following persons. The report then identifies two persons, a former second lieutenant and an official from the Social Development Ministry who were being sent to the district police. The report also states in regards to the second officer, quote, his father was a map draftsman in Takao. When we liberated it, he came out to Wat Champa and our Ankar removed him, end of quote. For Ang Tassam commune, we have document E3 slash 2435, E3 slash 2435, which is a report to District Ankar from Ang Tassam dated the 26th of April 1977. Confirming that, quote, for those who have their ranks as first lieutenant or second lieutenant, I'm going to contact with Comrade Yorn, district military, in order to take them out this evening right away, end of quote. And Mr. President, um, uh, I've asked my colleague to have documents ready to show on the screen. Uh, with your leave, um, he will have those available, and if, uh, um, if we can, from time to time, show the document references as I, uh, as I mentioned them, uh, we, we would like to do that with your leave. President, you may President, do so. Now, in relation to Ang Tassam commune, there is also a document uh, from uh, the same commune uh, later in the year, on the 17th of November 1977. This is document E3 slash 4123. E3 slash 4123 at Khmer 00271044, English 00322179, and French 00623855. It states, quote, it is requested to inform Comrade Kit and to contact with Comrade An 
concerning the names of the people who have high ranks. Ankar has already decided. End of quote. The next commune is Popol commune. The document is E3 slash 4103, E3 4103 at Khmer 00143 476, English 00322 133, French 00612 838. This is a report dated the 11th of April from the Popol, Popol Commune Chief Chorn to the district stating, quote, for those people who held a ranking position, we will send them to you one after another. One month later, in early May 1977, in document E3 slash 2048 at Khmer 00079090, that's 00079090, English 00276563-64, French 00611660. The same commune chief, Popol commune chief Chorn, reported to the district that 106 military families, 393 people, had already been smashed by Angkor or died, and the commune was screening more families to find out whether or not they are of the military personnel. Next is Nang Nang commune. And the document is E3 slash 2432, which is a report from that commune dated the 18th of April that identified 11 former law Nol officers from the commune, two majors, five first lieutenants, and four second lieutenants. We also have another report from that same commune, and it is E3 slash 2450, E3 slash 2450, ERN references, Khmer, 00270-746, English, 00322-161, French, 00623-747. This report confirmed that three former law no lieutenants were being sent to Krangtachan Chief An, as decided by the party, because they were, quote, high ranking. The letter expressly states that no conflicts or disputes had arisen with these three men, but, I quote, they were arrested because they were high ranking, end of quote. The next commune for which we see these types of documents, Kus commune. The document E3 slash 2441, E3 slash 2441, ERN references, Khmer, 00270-934, English 00369-464, French 00611-738. The 
This is a report dated 4 May 1977 from CUS commune identifying, quote, those with ranks who have been arrested and sent to the police. A first lieutenant and a second lieutenant who was also Khmer Krom from Phnom Penh. Another document from this commune from the 9th of September 1977 shows that arrests of identified law no officers continued through the year. E3-2441, E3-2441, ERN references Khmer 00 270-952, English 00-369-480, French 00-611-755. This report from Cus Commune listed another seven law no officers, one captain, five first lieutenants, and one second lieutenant who were being sent to Anka. Lebo Commune. Document E3-2423, E3-2423, ERN references Khmer 000-79134, English 00-322-216, French 00-611-736. This is a June 1978 report from Lebo confirming that four enemies had been arrested and sent to Krang Tachan Chief On. The four identified enemies included two Khmer Krom, who were former military, the owner of a transportation company, and a former Law Nol second lieutenant. And the report states that the four enemies were being sent pursuant to Ankar's line because the party has already decided to send them." End of quote. The last commune I will cover on this subject is Kapor Trebek commune. The document, first document, E3 slash 2050, E3 slash 2050, ERN, Khmer 000 79111, English 00 276 576, French 00 858 041. Your Honours, this document is a report to the district dated the 6th of May 1977, and it is from the Trebek Commune Chief Chum who has been identified as the brother of Tama. The report states, quote, regarding those with former ranks and positions in the Kaport Trebek subdistrict base, their names are as follows. The report then identifies a captain, first lieutenant, a second lieutenant, and a corporal. Your Honours, the names of two of the former law no officers 
in that report keep calm Il y a les noms and de ces Kong Boran de appear Kong in a list of Krang Chan prisoners who were executed two weeks later on the 22nd of May, 1977. That execution list is document E3 slash 4145, E3 4145 at Khmer ERN 00 66277365, English 00 761-101. The two Lano officers who had been reported by Tamak's brother, the chief of the commune, are numbers 22 and 23 in that list. While we are looking at this execution list from Krang to Chan, number 22, I'm sorry, number 29 on the 22 May 1977 execution list was a 27-year-old former Law Null captain named Kom Seng. He had been reported by Kus commune one week earlier in document E3-2441, E3-2442, at Khmer 00-270-936-2. That's 270-936. English 00-369. 466, French 00611740. One month later, in a 13 June 1977 report to the district party, which is document E3 slash 2052, E3 slash 2052. Kpok Chebec Commune Chief Cham identified chef 10 de de Kpok, former Trabec, military from Cham, Phnom Penh, including a first lieutenant, uh, and requested Penh, to hand them over to Ankar. Et a demandé, soit remis à Ankar. And in response to this report, rapport, District Chief Kit, le chef du district, Kit wrote a note to Krang Tachan Chairman An that appears on the document, Tachan, Anne, instructing as follows, note dans laquelle quote, il dit, je cite, regarding the 10 traitors that Kapork Trebek Subdistrict sent in yesterday, Trabec, propose comrade interrogate harshly and thoroughly interrogate to find all of their network, end of quote. Your Honours, I will uh, end uh, the presentation on this subject with document E3-4166, E3-4166, a document that shows the knowledge and implementation of this policy by the Krang Tachan chief and the Tramcock district secretary. E3-4166 is a 25 August 1977 report from prison chief on regarding the confessions of three former law null officers, a first lieutenant and two warrant officers. And after describing how these three former ranking officers were against the cooperative because they worked restlessly and were not happy with the labor they had to perform, on 
says the following. Il dit qu'il n'était pas satisfait de ce qu'il faisait. Et il ajoute, Moreover, en outre, these three contemptible persons were ranking officers that shall, shall be brought in. Qui être and your honors, um, uh, last night I noticed there is a difference between the Hier English soir, and French y avait interpretations of the sentence. So I've asked my colleague to read française. the Khmer original of the sentence so that that is part of the record uh, here today. President, uh, yes, dear Le Président, je vous en prie. Merci, Mr. President. Le co-procureur national, merci, President. Monsieur le Président. Allow me to read the part of the document A3-416 as follows. In addition, the three people and uh, these uh, ranked officers who were the subjects uh, of the uh, Anka gathering. Thank you. Devait être réuni par l'ANCAR. Your Honours, in response to this report from Crank. Monsieur de Laissac. Uh, just a request for clarification. Maître Cobé, un instant, s'il vous plaît, juste une petite précision, s'il vous plaît. I didn't quite catch the, the difference in, in translation between French and English. Je n'ai pas très bien compris quelle était la différence entre le français English. et l'anglais. It was a free translation of, of, the, of the Khmer, so I'm a bit confused as to what you are saying now that, it, that this particular sentence says. Uh, Council, I wanted the Khmer original simply read into the record so it's part of the record. Um, we'll have to deal with the translation issue uh, later. Um, for your reference, the, there's a difference. The difference in the French translation, without me um, uh, speaking French, is that it makes uh, a reference, specific reference, to the arrests being pursuant to the plan of Ankar. So that is that is the uh, interpretation uh, issue with respect to the Khmer original. Your Honours, in response to this Madame August 1977 report from Krang Tachan, Chief On, uh, two days later, District Secretary Kit conveyed the following instruction, which appears in a handwritten note at the bottom of the document. Quote, As to these three traitors, the party decided the party to have them smashed, end of quote. The next group of documents I will present today uh, relates to the treatment and targeting of new people in Tramcar District. District de Tramcoc. First, uh, document E3-4120, E3-4120, year and references Khmer 00270-9888-0. through 983, English 00322175, Zero zero six two three three four four. This document is a report from Sre Ronong Kamin Chief Kun, dated the 4th of January 1977, which is addressed to the party's organization of District 105. And it identifies a new person. Peach Savan, who was being arrested and sent to security for interrogation because he had chased ducks into the rice fields to eat rice. The important part of this report is at the conclusion, where Sre Renang Commune Chief Kun states the following, quote, I would like to make it clear to the party that concerning the new people, there are still many others 
who are opposing Ankar and the party. Thus, I will arrest them and send them up successively. End of quote. Your Honours, um, this new person who Madame had chased juges, ducks into the rice field was arrested and sent to Krangtachan, and there are interrogation notes uh, for him in Krangtachan notebook E3-2107, E3-2107 at Khmer 00068065 English 00290231 through 32 and French 00655746 Next in Krangtachan notebook E3 slash 4095, E3 4095, ERN references, Khmer 00271-106, French 00721-234, English 00747-264, there is a prisoner named Kao Poon, a 44-year-old father of two from Takmao, who previously worked as a driver transporting rice from Battenbang to Phnom Penh, and who had been relocated to Nang Nang commune in Tram Krak district. The notes state that Commune Ankar had assigned a local villager named Meng to disguise as a new person like him and chat with him. And Mr. Kao Pun was arrested and sent to Krang Chan because during that conversation he said the following. Quote, I've come only with my physical appearance while my mind remains in Phnom Penh. Nowadays, how come you're boasting of the liberation? All of our children have died. And how come you're boasting of progress? The progress is actually non-existent. End of quote. Next, in Krang Tachan notebook E3 slash 2107, E3 slash 2107, year references, Khmer 00068064, English 00290229. And French 00655-744-745. through These notes identify a prisoner named Sok Liang, a 17 April person who had returned from Phnom Penh to Sri Renong Commune. And the notes state, quote, Ankar assigned him to carry water to put in the rice fields in December with 12 people, both old and new people among them. When the water source was almost gone, they began catching the fish, throwing the water onto a hill and into the rice field, just thinking about getting the fish. Subdistrict Ankar, brother Kun, this is a reference to Kun, who was the Sre Renong commune chief, 
saw this and asked what village they were from. And he said, I hate these new people. Have them carry water to irrigate the rice and they throw it onto a hill instead. And then he walked away. The group then said, make a mistake, and they criticize only the new people. They don't say anything to the old people. Later, the village Ankar held a meeting and re-educated him on the above matter, and he said, there is no need to re-educate me. I know it already. He is dissatisfied with our revolution. The next uh, last document on the subject of new people um, is document E3-4164, E3-4164, this is a document that is actually relevant to a number of issues. It is a list of 29 prisoners titled Brief Biographies of Prisoners at Tramcock District, District Education Office. The list includes the prisoner's name, age, sex, village, commune and district, their position or occupation, their spouse's name, whether they were base or 17 April people, the date of arrival and the alleged offenses. Your Honours, of the 29 prisoners on this list, 21 were 17 April people, 6 were base people, and 2 were cadres, 2 female medics who have come up during this trial. 18 prisoners were male, 11 female. The stated reasons for imprisonment include six people who were imprisoned for planning to flee to Vietnam, four who criticized the revolution, refused to work, or failed to respect or follow the party line, two who committed adultery, seven accused of stealing, three whose offense was being a cruel administrator in the former regime, two who were implicated in the responses of other detainees, and a commune chief from District 108 who was accused of being in the organizational network of the UN. And in this uh, document, 11 of the 29 prisoners are identified as former law no military. And another, who is number 11 on the list, was the son of a former law no captain, who the list expressly indicates had been smashed. Your Honours, the next group of documents I will present are some examples that relate to people who were arrested de, de for opposing or criticizing the revolution, revolution pour for opposing or criticizing the party or Ankar. In Krangtachan notebook E3 4095, E3 slash 4095, year end references, Khmer 00271131, English 00747298, French 00721271 through 
5272. There is identified a former teacher Un ancien named Long Nom who was arrested and detained at Krang Tachan for trying to organize a group of people to, quote, demand the return of spouses and children who have disappeared, to complain about food shortage, and to require that schools be reopened. In the same notebook at year end, Khmer 00271-113, French 00721-244-245, through 245, English 00747-2007-2008, identifies a prisoner named Un Kat Pia, Kat Pia, who was part of a group that wore Il insignia or hats bearing the portrait of Samdak Bu, King Sam Father Sihanouk. And prisoner Heng Norn, Heng Norn at Khmer 00271-130, English 00747-297, French 00721-270. Heng Norn was detained Norn at Krang Tachan because he confessed qu to disliking the current revolution. La revolution. In notebook E3-2107, E3-2107, ERN reference, Khmer 00068062, English 00290226, French 00655742, records the detention of a 79-year-old man, a 79-year-old man named Chao Tit, a former officer born in Vietnam whose alleged defense was criticizing the revolution. Specifically, quote, he said that the revolution bragged that it was the people's land the people's state authority, but in fact, it was Ankar's. When re-instructed, he said they were not allowed to eat in private, but in Vietnam, there was land, houses, and rice, and they allowed private work and used money, not like here, end of quote. And in notebook D157.7, D157.7, year-end references, Khmer 00270855, English 00866424, Seven two seven nine There is identified a prisoner named Nu Mom, a new person who worked in the woman's gathering unit, who was arrested and sent to Krang Tachan for saying the following. Quote, she cannot live in this kind of dirty society where there is only water lily and pumpkin soup to eat. There is no delicious food to eat. 
The regime does not use money. Le régime n'utilise pas d'argent. People wear only one set of clothes which have a On bad smell. Qui sont mauvais. When we questioned her about what she had said, lui a si elle avait she dit answered cela, that she did not have a firm stance. She just stable, did not like the revolution. revolution. End of quote. Fin de Next document. Document suivant. E3 slash 2448 E3 slash 2448 Khmer ERN 0000791102 English 00 322157 French 00588784 Your honors this document Madame is a report from Trapiang Com North Commune to the district Ankar dated the 9th of September 1977 and it reports two youths who had been arrested for saying that the Khmer Rouge won the war because the USA had ceased to drop bombs and that they had won the war because of student protests in the international community. Krang Tachan prisoner list E3 slash 4083 E3 slash 4083 Khmer ERN 000 68036 English 00 3239755 French 00 This Krang Tachan prisoner list identifies four female prisoners, numbers 24 through 27 on the list, who were sent to Krang Tachan for the following alleged offense. Quote, the four traitorous women had broken cooperative spoons in order to destroy the cooperative and make it become private again. End of quote. Mr. President, let me just end this section um, and before we... Um, Monsieur le Président, I have one last quote um, related to this subject. Um, faire, uh, it is from... Uh, the uh, Henri Locard report Il on Tramcock um, that my colleague presented part of earlier this morning. And that is, uh, for the record, D313 slash 1.2.16. Uh, the Khmer reference 00739046. English 00. 2170701 French 00743760 And Henri Locard was writing here regarding the alleged faults committed Henri by Locard people who were brought to Krang de Chan. And he stated, quote, on balance, they are either trivial, the theft of food, for instance, or more serious, plans for poisoning, but they are mostly political grudges against the regime. Most of the accused had the courage to express their utter dislike of the revolutionary society. And he states that of the 477 records he reviewed, only three detainees would have been taken to court in a civilized society, end of quote. At this point, I would move on to another subject, Mr. President. Um, 
So. President, uh, Council Copper, you have the floor. Um, Mr. President, I have a request uh, for the trial team to consider during the break and also uh, a request that to which the parties uh, in the courtroom uh, can develop their thoughts. Um, in light of the, the revised schedule this week, uh, we wonder whether it might be more useful to have um, our comments and objections on the various presentations moved to Thursday rather than have it on Wednesday. That allows us to uh, develop arguments um, uh, more profoundly than that we would have to do right now, um, or basically to tonight or, or tomorrow. Um, because the witness is not scheduled, as, as we all know, uh, if we move tous, comment, uh, comments and objections to Thursday, jeudi, we, would we would have uh, uh, a whole Wednesday jeudi, uh, to prepare more thoroughly uh, for this. So that, is, that will be our request, and uh, maybe at one point we can have a discussion on this. Just a related question. I understand you wish to raise certain issues, some of them you have identified. But if you first raise additional ones on Thursday, how are other parties supposed to, to prepare? No, or can you identify the issues? We will have our presentation tomorrow, uh, and then the other parties can react on it on Thursday. Uh, like we can uh, on Thursday, reacting on them. So Nous we will all have one day aussi. extra, basically. So all parties would have one day extra to, to provide their comments on the various presentations. That, that would be the idea. Because um, obviously we have our presentation tomorrow. The prosecution uh, wants to react uh, on what we are saying. They will have an extra day, and so will the civil parties. They will have an extra day uh, to comment. That, that would be... Um, our suggestion. Les convocateurs principaux des parties civiles disposeraient également de cette journée pour réfléchir à leurs commentaires. Uh, I'll be brief. I, I have no preference whether we do it on Wednesday or Thursday, so I'll leave that to the, to the chamber's discussion. We'll be ready to proceed either Wednesday or Thursday as, as you decide. Peu importe. Mercredi ou jeudi, ce sera à vous d'en juger. Merci, Monsieur le Président. A priori, pas de. Thank you, Mr. President. Pas de préférence pour l'un ou l'autre jour, juste une petite requête pour mieux comprendre l'organisation de cette audience. Sera-t-il donné occasion aux parties de réagir aux observations de la partie adverse Par exemple, si la défense fait des observations sur les éléments que nous apportons, aurons-nous la possibilité d'éclairer la Chambre et de donner euh, réponse aux observations de la Défense, juste pour que nous puissions nous, nous organiser aussi en préparation de, de la partie réservée à la réponse sur la présentation des pièces par les autres parties. I'm still a bit confused on what you actually want to do on Thursday. Uh, you, you seem to indicate that a round of replies and responses to replies or whatever, which isn't forcing currently. Is, is that correct? It, it just whatever we're doing on Wednesday, move it to Thursday. Sorry, you don't want to sit on Wednesday. You want to sit on Thursday instead. Yes. President, thank you. President, je vous remercie. And before we take a lunch break, the chairman would like to inform the relevant parties that you shall submit in writing to the request by Kiyos Mpon in relation to document E348, that is for the confrontation between Soi Sen and Sri Thorn and So Sen by the latest, the 1st of May 2015. It is now convenient for our uh, lunch break. We will take a break now and uh, resume at 1.30. Security personnel, you are started to uh, take your some point to the uh, 
waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the April sittings before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now in recess.